everybody. Mailbag starting in about 10 minutes, but uh, I thought I'd start the recording early so that we can uh, get a little bit of these kids playing with their soccer ball, football, depending on where you're from. I can get reconnected. I don't think I'd be able to see it to aim. There we go. Okay, now we're good. Wait, so we want uh, like a full size rug or? I think it has to be at least eight by five. If, if, whether it's a play mat or not doesn't matter. So fifty-five by Yeah, that's a little small, but that that would work, I guess. They'll probably be playing a lot off the field. Sixty-three by ninety-five. That sounds. Is that the right proportions? It's good if the price is good. Don't get it if it's you know no point. DJ's looking to get a little uh, soccer, uh, football uh, pitch, would you call it a pitch, field, whatever, yeah. for, uh, for these kids to play on just for the appearance of it. You know, now somebody's really getting into it. Of course, it's going to be Little Barrel, the one that has toys. Barrel's the one that collects and plays with the toys and drags the toys away and puts them into like little cubby holes and... She, uh, before I took their box out, she'd taken her two favorite toys, the little red thing and the long-tailed mouse, and put them, stuffed them into that strawberry bed that they were using. That's so cool. Yeah, and then uh, every day I see her stuff them into this cardboard thing now. She picks them up and drags them in there, and uh, it's cute. She's got her favorite toys, and she likes, likes to take them with her. Oh, let's turn this up a little. We want to go a little faster, kids. You ready for that now? Oh, maybe. We got it. Good job. Good ball control. Mm. You know, cats have a natural advantage at soccer since you're not supposed to touch the ball with your hands, but they have four feet. Mm. Oh, sorry, buddy. I got you, huh? That makes me think of Cahoots, who was really good at kicking a ball around and keeping it going, dribbling, I guess they call it. She'd be going full speed all the way across the house with it. Yeah, you know what? We'll make it work. You pick that. That's good. That's a fine size. It's good enough to fit in here real well. So, cool. I'm, I'm concerned that if you open that thing now, they still haven't quite learned where the litter box is. Maybe give it another day. No, maybe we don't need to do that. Well, you can't just open the top. Then we'll go to the bottom and get trapped. Well, it doesn't even matter. The whole point then would be to keep them out of the bottom, so you might as well just open it. I'm 
sure if you clean it well enough, it'll kind of figure things out. And then if we have to close it again, I'll just do that. Just undo it. Yeah. I think the cleaning supplies are right in the hallway. Oh, you're going to sweep it first, though. It's actually over there. Yeah, I would I would start with a spray though so you really get it in there. Oh, I just built up the enzymes. Maybe they go upstairs. Right, this is a good chance to do all that. Now we're on time. That's just about it. Anybody's wondering, this is a Spiro Mini. Really cool. The Spiro company has been really cool. I don't know if they still are. So I do recommend their stuff though. And you can find them on Amazon. They're typically about 50 bucks, which I think is overpriced unless you plan on using it every day. But uh, a lot of times they go on sale for more like 25 or 30, or they used to. If they still do, that's a bargain. I think there's still a link on our website on the Stuff Kittens Like page, maybe. These kids are about done. Barrel really is the, the toy kitten, the one that, that does the toy stuff the most. Through it right now. The other ones want to see what you're doing, and Barrel's like, no, I got a toy. Barrel of monkey. It's mine now. Good job, though. I'm gonna check for my coffee so I can start this mailbag. Thank you. All right, clean the stuff is downstairs. Okie dokie. And then DJ wants to encourage a new uh, class of bean uh, no, uh, hammock kittens. She says, it's been too long since we've had hammock kittens. Why don't any of the kittens anymore use the, uh, use the cage even? They don't go in the cage and they don't go in the hammock. Uh, my, if I had to make a, like, a real guess, if there was a reason, and it's not just, you know, some classes do things different, I would say probably because that cage has been peed in too many times and now it just is a litter box. But uh, maybe there's no reason. Maybe it's just, hey, you know, these kids, uh, they've got other things to play with, you know? Who knows? Anyway, here we are. It's mailbag. It's 10 o'clock. Hey, everybody, let me check the camera angles real quick. Make sure we got cameras going. Check chat. Make sure everybody can hear me. Uh, oh, I've got my back right to the floor camera. Maybe I should just move over a little bit. Let's see here. Uh, we can put this out of the way just a tiny bit. Move this over. Okay. Yeah, no, go for it. Go right ahead. Just act like I'm not even here. Uh, hang on, buddy. Silo. Oh. Just going to move over so we can get the floor camera too while we're here. This camera, I mean. Let's see if that works. Good. That's a steep two angles on that beautiful box. It's all got all the nice little drawings and stuff on it. That's very cute. Kind of blocking all the cameras, but that's okay. It's not going to be a super long mailbag. Um, you can see how much stuff we've got here in some of these boxes. A lot of them are sort of drop shipped, so uh, not now. I'm still adjusting the camera angles, though. There we go. Okay. And where's this one? Come on, boy. Ow! Oh, that's too bitey. Too bitey. Hang on, buddy. That's a bad lesson, okay? All right. 
Well, let's start with our postcards there. Hey, look, you can be bite me, but it's not on me. You gotta bite on something else, okay? All right, uh, what's news this week? Well, there's only a couple pieces of, uh, of news. These kids are doing fine, their mom's doing great. We're slowly sort of learning how to, to uh, work with her as a spicy cat. Uh, I've definitely discovered that she's spiciest before breakfast in the morning, and I, I get that because I'm kind of that way before I got my coffee. So um, I found that if we, we get food and let her relax a little bit, she's usually a lot better. I've also started letting her out into the house to explore, and I've been using a harness and wearing a glove. I want to take every precaution because I've been fooled by mom cats before that seemed like they were going to be less spicy around the faculty, and then they just went off. Uh, I think it was Ari Ariel or somebody. I remember in the front hall of the old house. Uh, that's actually the last time I got uh, bitten trying to break up that fight. I, you know, I stuck my hand right in there trying to stop her from getting one of the faculty. And she got me instead. It was an accident. Um, so uh, that's ever since then. I, you know, I'm careful, extra careful. I wear gloves. I make sure it's going to go well if I have the slightest indication. And so that's what we're doing with uh, with Thimble. And it turns out Thimble, by the way, is across the hall right now in the spare room uh, because I was going in and out the door and I didn't want her to be uh, all upset about it. So anyway, it turns out that Thimble um, uh, is, is been okay so far. She saw the faculty. She growled at them from a distance, but she didn't even try to pursue them. She just wanted to sit and watch them. They respectfully kept the distance from her, and that was a real good first interaction. That's that's basically the best you can hope for, um, you know, reasonably in a first cat introduction. Some of them just instant friends, and that's rare. Typically, if you have adult cats that are meeting each other for the first time, um, if they're hissy and keep their distance, that's perfect. That's exactly what you want. Uh, what you don't want is for them to run at each other or, you know, uh, disrespect boundaries when one's hissing and the other one just walks right up to them anyway. Those are, those are bad. So uh, it was a good first interaction. Um, unfortunately, I guess, in a sense, it turns out Thimble is just smart as anything. She's sharp as a tack. She, um, and I don't just mean her teeth, she... Um, learns things and 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 really uh, just picks up on stuff instantly so now that she's been out and explored the house twice she wants to run out this door every time it opens and i have to I have to be extra careful she will she'll sneak up and she'll run past me and you know she'll run around my feet and whatever she can do she just wants to get out there and i don't yet trust her enough to, to let her just run out and be with the faculty Hopefully we can get that trust and feel like she actually is safe with the faculty. And then if she runs out the door, it doesn't matter. But until then, we've got to take extra. And that's uh, this morning a long-winded explanation of why she's in the other room. Because uh, I'm in and out this door right now, and I don't want her to get upset or try to go out or run into the faculty or any of that. So uh, there you go. So uh, that's, I guess, thing number one is that we're really learning how to work with her. And she is, again, she's just this sweetest and spiciest cat that we've had she's uh she's the best snuggler never gets tired of being held and petted and snuggled and um i, I do i'm starting to suspect that a lot of the reason she's spicy is because she just that's how she asks for what she wants and what she really wants is to be out of this room or to be with her people um and she just hasn't learned how to ask for things in a, in a sort of respectful way uh so i think that's what it's really all about um, but we're still, like I said, we're still kind of figuring her out. Uh, then the, um, one other piece of news, and I don't know if I've said anything about this yet, is that Dawes uh, has reached out to us to say that there's a potential for a new mom cat to arrive uh, next weekend. So one week from today. And that's, that's perfect timing. Honestly, uh, these kids will probably, we can move them downstairs this week. I think we're doing a couple of experiments right now to see if they've really learned the litter box lesson or if they're just faking it. But we haven't had any accidents outside the litter box in over 24 hours. So I think that's a good first sign. And we removed the litter box they had by the door that was getting popular use and put it over there. So hopefully they follow that instead of just peeing in that same spot. We'll see. And DJ's really uh, taken a risk by cleaning up and making accessible the bottom of this cage, which they think so far they have thought is a litter box that just peed everywhere in there. Uh, so, and then I put litter boxes in it, and they use those, um, and still pee everywhere. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see how cleaned up it is and whether that works. If not, we'll just have to close it off again uh, and keep trying. Fingers crossed, though, that this week um, they can move downstairs. So, we'll see. 
I think their mom might also really appreciate that, if only to have a bigger room with a better view. I also get the impression that once she's got access to that cat door to go outside, uh, that she is going to love that. I, I get the impression that she has an affinity for the outdoors. And of course, we don't do outdoor cats that just get to go out and wander. But with the cat run, uh, she could go out there and probably enjoy herself a little bit. We'll see. So uh, that's it. That's it for news. Uh, working on these kittens, working on getting them downstairs, and potentially a new mob cat showing up next week. Oh, uh, so we'll see. Oh, see, that's why we closed that. Didn't you just steal a drop? Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, let's start. So we got two postcards today. Uh, we have one that says uh, Romant Romantics Bamberg. I think Bamberg. That must be where Bam was from. Anyway, it's a it's a beautiful looking town. There's a there's like a castle or an inn or maybe it was a church or something that's uh, it's got stone construction and it's out in the middle of water. I guess in the middle of a river or a lake. Actually, I see boats too, so this must be a place with a lot of water. Um, but this uh, this old building with the stonework, and then they built onto it like a whole extension made out of wood. That's uh, also interesting uh, how it all goes together. Anyway, we've also got a harbor here and a guy on a horse. That's a guy on a horse. Yep, and a church, a beautiful old uh, church. I guess you'd call it a romantic church. Flip. Oh, is it? No, you can put it either way. I don't know why it's upside down. You probably did that, actually. No. I usually put it the right way with the seams. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Um, it says on the back, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Oh, let me see if I can show you that a little bit. Maybe it's maybe better over here now. We have this one more. I don't know if that's going to be focused, though. I'm not looking. Okay. It says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Uh... I think this says H is New Year's Eve in Grottingen, Grottingen, Gottingen, no, Gottingen, Germany. I'm probably, you know what, I can't do language, I can't even do English. Uh, I'm watching Mailbag. I've been able to figure out the time change. They're nine hours ahead, so I haven't missed any mailbags. It's been fun to tune in to see Thimble and her babies and keep track of the Kahooligans in between trips to see amazing medieval villages in central Germany. I hope 2023 brings you and all the faculty and Kitten Academy family around the world health, peace, and happiness. All the very best. Paula, who's usually in Victoria, B.C. P.S. The time change is six hours ahead of Connecticut, but nine hours ahead of Victoria, so I tune in at 5 p.m. Sunday in Germany. Interesting. Uh, thank you so much for the card and the notes, and thank you for thinking of us while you were out visiting the world. I think it's great to see different parts of the world this way. and. Uh, that really means a lot to me. So, so thank you so much. I, I really do appreciate it. Uh, medieval Germany. Just, there was a there was an old video game that was one of the earliest games I was aware of where they tried to make things like super realistic um, in medieval Germany specifically. Uh, I can't quite. I can picture the cover of it, but I can't remember the name. Uh, I want to say dark something, but I, it's been so long. And then they remade it a few years ago, and I bought the remake, but I never even started playing it. Uh, I bet it would be highly educational because I was I was a, a little kid uh, last time I played it, and it was uh, maybe a little over my head at the time. That's neither here nor there, is it? Oh, where'd you find that? Oh, is that is that in the basement? Mm -hmm. Did you go down there? Mm -hmm. Oh no. Uh oh, DJ's been to the dungeon. All right. Uh, we also got this beautiful card, um, uh, obviously from Japan. Whoops. Oh, oh, it's got a little bunny rabbit and a carrot and some words that I couldn't possibly hope to even uh, read, much less pronounce. And it is addressed to Eddie and friends. So it says, Dear Eddie, Happy New Year. Here is some Japanese I don't think I've taught Mr. A yet. Katoshi mo Yoroshiko Onegai Shimu Masu. Sorry, Onegai Shimasu. There we go. It doesn't translate well, but it's a wish that we'll have another great year together. It's my hope for the whole KA family. I haven't been able to get on Discord much lately, but it's been wonderful watching you learn to snuggle. Oh, that's scratched out. Tolerate kittens. I hope you, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all the faculty have a fantastic 2023. Keep on shedding. Love, Emily. That's a chocolate chip on Discord. And uh, thank you so much for the sweet card. You've got wonderful handwriting. I know I just said that to you on Discord this morning. Uh, really cute little card. 
and I'm sure I butchered the Japanese phrase. Uh, it's uh, another great year together, though. That's cute. So I will read that to Eddie later so that he knows. Uh, he'll probably judge me, too. I'm sure he speaks excellent Japanese, uh, but not me. So just doing my best. All right, uh, that leaves us with the the, the uh, boxes portion of mailbag. I'm also I'm going to turn this wonderful box around um, 180 so that we get a chance yeah, to see yeah. the other sides while we're opening other things. Yeah, there we go. And we'll just start with this that happened to be on top. This is from uh, oh I recognize of course I think we all recognize this must be from Charlie. Charlie I and it's addressed to Thimble and the Thimblets, which is very cute. I think a number of people online. So cute! Oh, is he? She's he? Bam! She uh, made not bam. Cute little poop. Okay, good. A cute poop. Kitten poops are adorable. My poops are not. DJ's made this repeatedly clear. Um, Why would I even get? <laughs> I don't know. You have to tell me. Barrel, barrel. You want to see the new place? Barrel, barrel. Barrel, barrel. Oh, barrel, barrel. oh! Look at that! Wow! I hope look. they don't just pee in it, but that's great. They can climb up on top. He, from here. Yeah, they all climb up that thing really well already. So that's oh, he's in the. Well, we're gonna have to move the camera out. over there. Do you want to move him or should yeah. I? Yeah. This and this one is probably the one to move. They don't go in the buddy that much. Yeah. And you can just clamp it on there. That'll be good too. If you need help, let me know. Uh, what was I saying? Some people uh, have been referring to the kittens as uh, uh, thimble tubs as the last name, which I think is really cute. Thimble tubs as you know a last as as a surname. I think that's uh, adorable. Yeah. So it's like, uh, um, uh, why why can't I missed? <laughs> why can't I think of uh, any kitten names right now? Barrel, uh, barrel yes, barrel thim thimble tubs is what I was looking for. Thank you, barrel barrel thimble tubs. This is mailbag so much easier when DJ's here because there are words that I don't have. Uh, anyway, here we go. Uh, clearly from. Uh, let me double check. Make sure this actually is from Charlie. Indeed, Charlie. Okay. Um, so this is dated 8th, January, 2023. Hello, Mr. A and DJ. Hope you were both well, and thank you for all you both do for the feline world. Mr. A, keep doing what you're doing to help Thimble overcome her attitude or behavioral problems. You will get there in the end. She's a beautiful mom cat, and I see she is one playful cat. This parcel contains, all right, we've got a list. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to go through it in as the list, but we can try. First off, we have the named uh, KA rings for all of the thimblets and thimble with a cat toy. Oh, and these are those little cute little uh, toy rings that you've been making for every class with the little uh, beads that spell out their names. So this one says thimble, and they're like cute little rainbow colors. And this is a, is this a kinder egg, egg, is it? I bet it is. Anyway, it's been knit or uh, crocheted, I mean, sorry, crocheted around, and there's a bell in it. And it looks just like the right size and shape for it to have been. I hope I hope you got to eat all those Kinder Eggs. Uh, I, maybe that's even what it is. Who knows? All right, so here we have. <laughs> You're funny. Okay. Uh, here we have one for Barrel, and it's adorable. It's cute. It's a little girly pink, and it says Barrel with the little rainbow blocks again. We have uh, one for Silo, it says Silo. And then we have one here for Cistern, all spelled out, Cistern. There you go. DJ has mentioned that uh, since she named a kitten Cistern, everybody has had to point out that in the UK at least, the only association that anybody has for Cistern is the, the toilet tank. Um, but we don't really have that association here, and especially not where DJ's from in India. Uh, her house, at least, and I think most of the houses that were in sort of her neighborhood, and who knows, maybe that whole part of India, um, they have a, a water distribution system where the city brings water to the house, but then they have to pump it up from, from where the city has it. It gets stored in a big cistern that sits on the roof of the house, a big cement cistern. And then when you turn on the shower, it comes from the cistern on top of the house, and that, that provides the water pressure. So it's, a, it's an interesting system, and that's probably the first thing that she would think of when you say cistern. Uh, I have no particular association one way or the other, um, but uh, uh, I think it's uh, those things are really interesting. Um, anyway, so uh, I just wanted to explain that. So the reason I laughed is because you sent another of your wonderful little toy rings, and this one is for Tank. 
uh, Tank, of course, the, the little black camera that shared their uh, birthing box with them for a while, and it's right up there by DJ. Uh, so uh, still observing things. This is Tank? Uh, the little black one. Not the one you're putting oh. up, the one that's sitting on top of the cage, I think. Unless I put it away somewhere, but yes, that's cute. So tank the camera. This is really, I think, just for to use around here, which is super adorable. Thank you so much for that. Uh, then, oh, oh, I see. And here you do say so. Name cane rings for all list. Number two, recycled Kinder egg containers for deployment. The naked containers for you to see the original. I ate the chocolate. Mm, chocolate. See, I am familiar with Kinder eggs, even though in the United States they are contraband. Um, in fact, they do get, um, you know, like if you send in enough of them for customs to notice uh, customs will confiscate them because in the united states um you know make whatever jokes you will we cannot be trusted to have food that contains non-food items the, our government is sure that we will just eat the whole thing and probably choke uh, and end up in the emergency room so kinder eggs are not allowed to be sold in the united states uh however i will also admit that we may have imported some contraband from time to time. So, uh, yeah, I did immediately recognize that. So you sent one, with a, and that one's even got a bell in it. And then you sent three more that have bells in it. These are going to be really good, too. I can tell that already. I'm going to put one out right now for these kids. And I see Logan is sitting at the door watching being a sad berry. Uh, I would even think about letting him in here, but then Mom would probably go nuts smelling where he's been. Who knows? Uh, yes, so thank you um, for that. You have a melody chaser for the faculty. Oh, I guess that's what these things are. Oh, this is that cricket. Oh my goodness, that cricket drove us insane. Uh, this is also going to be a lot of fun for the faculty. <laughs> uh, that little cricket. These things were, the, the one cricket that we had, it was the same cricket. I recognize it. I would recognize it anywhere. Uh, it makes a cricket noise when it gets touched, and it goes off at the slightest touch. Like if you walked up the stairs, you would hear this thing chirping across the house. So just anything to set it off. Um, and then you've sent three of them. There's the cricket that we know, this bird that we don't know, but we've seen similar things. And this last one appears to be a mouse. I'll be interested to see if they also make slight uh, different noises. Uh, and then I also notice here on the card that they are on, uh, it does claim right here, reacts to the slightest touch. That's their, their advertising. They're like, yeah, that's reacts to the slightest touch. Oh, we know. Uh, we know. So that's super fun, too. Okay, uh, they do like that. It's a, it's a fun toy. Um, let's see. Vet recommended Valerian cat toy in place of catnip and silver vine. Uh, oh, your vet recommended one for Kevin, I see. Uh, ordered from Amazon, who sent two boxes, so there's a box for you. See what you think. Valerian, you know, I've seen, um, oh, these are cute little kitties, Valerian cats. I've seen the word Valerian root, and I thought Valerian was maybe just another word for silver vine. Uh, so this is the first time I'm realizing that it's something else. But it will be fascinating to see if the kitties do like to play with it. So thank you for sending that. That was very nice of you. Uh, Biscoff for DJ and I. Oh, 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 the, it says chocolate Biscoff. Oh, they've got the chocolate on one side. Those are so good. Oh, maybe, um, hammock that's light colored. Uh, there, yeah, there are a couple hammocks ready to deploy if you look in the, the linen closet in the hallway. Is this reversible? It is, but the other they side's like not the, soft. Yeah. yeah, so go look in the hallway, but they're in the top, far top left corner. All the way to the top of the closet. Yep, in the closet in the hallway. Right. Uh, if you don't find one there, there might be a couple in, in downstairs uh, where I'd have to help you find them. I'd have to find them, but uh, I would look there first. Okay, so uh, you also sent a heart plaque to do as you see fit. It is home is where the cat here sticks to everything but the cat. Uh, yep, yeah, indeed. It is a cute little laser cut wooden plaque uh, that also has a little bit of painting on it. And, oh, maybe that is all painting, just the sides that are laser cut. Okay. Um, and uh, what was I going to say? Oh, it's got a, a little place to, to hang it for something, too. So it could be a Christmas tree ornament. could be anything that's very cute. You also filled out the box with, okay, you win. I will share my chocolates with you. Mm, chocolates. Well, I feel the same way. Is that what this is? Oh, it's chocolate. It's coffee flavored chocolates. We have espresso chocolate, milk chocolate cappuccino, milk chocolate latte crisp, and a dark chocolate coffee 
creamed. Well, those sound great. That's chocolate and coffee. Those are two of the best things in the world. And then finally, oh, look at that. You found it. Rest in peace, reindeer poo, uh, who was eaten by the washing machine. Here's his little brother to take on the duties his big brother did. How cute is that? I don't remember. I don't think the old one had a hat. It just had the reindeer ears and uh, maybe it had like a Rudolph nose. This one's kind of got both. So that's adorable. Uh, and yes, in fact, the other reindeer poo, uh, it got dirty. It went in the washing machine. It did not come back out. Uh, at least not in one piece. So, uh, well, that's all I can fit in the box. Take care. Charlie, hers and meows from Kevin and Weirdo. Charlie, thank you so much. That is incredibly sweet of you. And thanks for thinking of us and replacing our Christmas poo. It wouldn't be Christmas without poo. <laughs> and uh, thanks for the chocolate. And thank you for the uh, squeaky toys. And, of course, the wonderful little rings. Uh, these kids, they are everywhere right now. I hope this is getting on camera a bit. Okay. We're going to keep rolling. Thank you uh, again. Let's uh, save that box for a minute. Open some of these oh, other things. Hi, Maggie. All the kittens, all the cats in the back of you are coming to the door to check things out one at a time. Let's open a dropship box next. Oh, that's a good choice. That looks like just what you wanted, is it? Yeah. Good. Was that in the closet where I said Ah, uh, perfect. That, my brain does work for some things. Like, where did I put that? Well, only when it goes where it belongs, though. <laughs> if something's out of place, I'll never find it. Oh, all right. This is Hi Thimble. We hope you enjoyed many long snoozes in one of our favorite beds once you get to your forever home, love. Tahini and Flair. Thank you. Well, Tahini and Flair have been sending one of these for every mom cat. It is a marshmallow bed. Let's see what color we have. Uh, I think there's a little hole here so we can see it. It looks purple, but we're going to need to see it a little better. So let's open this end. Oh, it is a rich lavender. Here we go. I'll just show you the corner so we don't have to de-flupify uh, uh, it. Yeah, not de-flupify it. It would be flupified. It's all vacuum sealed in here, but it's beautiful purple, uh, lavender color. She will look great sleeping on it. And I do think she likes a soft bed, so she probably will go for this. I, I haven't seen her use the um, the marshmallow bed specifically, but I have seen on our marshmallow bed spread that she gets up there on the bed and she needs. I tried to catch some of that on, <clears throat> excuse me, I tried to catch some of that on the, the micro close-ups. I don't know if we've actually seen her kneading on those or not. It seems like every time I start to film, she stops and goes and does something else. Uh, pink cat there, but uh, for sure uh, she does like that material. So hopefully uh, she will also love this bed. Let's see. I need a pen to label this so it doesn't get misplaced or uh, given to the wrong cat. Thimble. Perfect. We'll write on both sides just in case. Oh, it says purple on this side. Wow. I could have just looked at that. That's fine. It's better to see, isn't it? I think so. Okay. And, uh, I know these things are blocking that whole side of the room from the camera, but that's okay. There's nothing going on over that. All the kittens are over here. I think. I only see one. There's thinking, oh, look at that. That's too cute. All right. You're pointing them in whatever direction. Okay. I was going to do it if you weren't, but you got it. That's good. Right. You just, oh, he's being so cute, though. Oh, my goodness. She, little sister, is grabbing the. Uh, the clips from the old hammock and from the new hammock you guys put up there. Very cute. Oh, I recognize what this is as well, and I think you will. Uh, this looks like more from Tahini and Flair. They still are hanging on to that credit card. It says, hi, Tiny Tubs. We hope you enjoy some of our favorite toys. Love, Tahini and Flair. And once again, this is stuff that you guys have sent for every class. Thank you so much, Tahini and Flair. That's, uh, that's some real good kittens there. So we have the Tower of Tracks, a classic from uh, Tahiti and Flair's Day. And we have uh, Springs and Fun Tubes. Now, these kids are already big fans of Fun Tubes. I don't know, the Springs a little bit, but I bet they'll get around to it. And then this pack has some new thing, which is also Springs, but they're the kind that have, I still haven't figured out what to call it. It's like a mesh that's a tube. And this one is actually, oh, fitted around a plastic spring. Hmm. Those are extra fancy. It looks like there's just two of those in the pack, but uh, those are the, the real good ones in there. All right. Um, I, I 
suggest that's I can put that right in there too for now because I think there's going to be more of that for us to consolidate. We'll find out. This is real good practice for these kids too. At uh, here, this can be our discard box. Now. At all the noises and things going on in their room, they, they need a lot more exposure to that kind of thing. Especially the boy is uh, the boy um, uh, 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 names. Uh, Silo. Uh, Silo is especially a scaredy cat. I've noticed more than the, the girls are. He is uh, the first one to hide from things. And when I pick them up to carry them into the spa, the girls are pretty cool with it. I just pick them up and carry them. He clings on to me for dear life when he is picked up, uh, which is it's cute. It's charming. Um, okay, let's see. What this extremely heavy box is right here. My goodness. It weighs a ton. Well, I guess we could have guessed what some of it would be. Is that what it all is? Oh, let's see here. Ah, the note. That's perfect. And there's cute little cat stamps on it, too. It says, hello, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, esteemed KA faculty, mom, cats, and kittens, and KA family. Just a small but heavy, yes, indeed. All right. Uh, box of food to start off 2023 at the Academy. Mom, cat, thimble is keeping you busy opening cans of food and the tiny tubs are coming along on their eating lessons. Here's wishing everyone a very happy and meowy new year and many healthy mom, cats, and kittens during 2023. Sincerely, Minnesota KA fan. Well, thank you so much, Minnesota KA fan. Um, I was thinking about how heavy this box was and I wanted to give everybody a couple of shipping tips real quick. Not that I'm an expert on shipping by any means. Maybe someone who is can uh, ship in on this. But, um, I, uh, I think if you're going to send uh, a box of, by the way, this is perfect, wonderful. Thank you so much for the uh, Fancy Feast Classic Chicken Pate, just exactly the right thing. It's what we feed them, and as you surmise, we do feed them a ton of it, and all the kittens have started eating it successfully now, so we're going through even more at the moment, and it's perfect. You said three of those. I'm going to put them right back in here to carry downstairs to the kitchen. Uh, anyway, I was going to say, if, if you want to uh, send us some, you might save yourself a little bit on shipping in two different ways. Uh, one is to drop ship them from Amazon or uh, Chewy straight to us. Either one gives free shipping for most stuff most of the time. Chewy will give free shipping for anything over 50 bucks, And Amazon, if you have an Amazon Prime account, which I think a lot of people do. So something to think about that would save you any shipping cost. But you don't get to leave a wonderful note, which is oh wonderful. It's perfect. But you could probably drop ship it and send a note and still save yourself quite a bit on the shipping. Uh, the other thing I would say is if you're going to ship using the United States postal system, they have boxes at the postal system that no matter how much weight you put into them are the same low price. It's like, I think the biggest box is like 15 bucks and uh, you can fit a lot of fancy feast in there. So just something to consider. Um, uh, other than that, I don't know too much about shipping, except I will also uh, add that because we've shipped things out time to time, I use stamps.com, not a product placement for them. They don't pay me anything. Uh, they just happen to be easy. And because of that, I've discovered that if, unless you can use that, that box at the post office, it's a flat rate. UPS is cheaper for almost anything. Um, they, uh, and and especially for, for small uh, boxes, they, they go kind of by, they're, they're, they do have weight limits, but their weight limits are so high that it's mostly by the size of the box. And uh, yeah, so anyway, that's it. That's my shipping tips. And uh, I just say that because uh, the USPS does print, um, I think it's the USPS that you sent this to, maybe? Yeah, they do print, um, and I, I feel like, gosh, um, I feel bad sometimes. <laughs> so Minnesota KA fan, thank you though. I, I, it was worth it for me anyway, just for the note. Uh, so thank you so much for that. I do love it. And uh, yes, indeed, uh, they are coming along great on their eating lessons. And as you say, uh, happy and meowy new year to everybody. So thank you again, uh, Minnesota KA fan. All right, keep on rolling. Let's see here. Wow, that is taking you some time. Are you okay? Oh, is he in that hammock right now while you're doing it? Is the camera pointed that way? No, I need to, everybody needs to see that. No, it's perfect. It's great. We've used that one before. That's great. They like you. 
Yeah, I wish you could, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't do anything. That's perfect. You did good. That's good work. No, you're doing it okay. Looks cute. Oh, it's just like a black dot in there. You could always put a couple blankets in the bottom to, to floop it up a little bit, you know, to make it de uh, less deep, but I think it's perfect. It's fine. You can see him. You can see him just fine. If you wanted a better angle, you could put the camera on the, the door hinge. Yeah. Yeah, right about there. And then we get a view of the room still. But you don't, you don't need to. Just a thought. I think it's fine the way it is, too. Besides that, for all we know, we might have to close that thing off by tomorrow. We'll see. All right. So uh, next up. Oh, this is some cool colors. What, it's a bed, I think, and it looks kind of... Um, Make your pet Instagram famous, it says right on it. All right. Uh, best friends. Well, it looks uh, sort of southwestern, doesn't it? Doesn't it have that sort of color to it? And it's got these ears on it. And it, it makes me vaguely think of something. Yeah. But I can't place it because I don't know much uh, of anything at all. Let's just see if there's a note. Yeah. Yeah. For Thimble. Oh, Daryl's under there. Under. Oh, hi, Daryl. How did you get under there? Do you know how to get up? Hi. Hi, Daryl. You're looking right at me, too. You to come over here? Okay. So it says, For Thimble from Creole Moss on Discord. So Creole Moss, thank you hi. so much. Um, I want to know Meow Hut. Oh, it says Pinata Blue. Okay. Well, I guess that explains why I thought it felt Southwestern. And it is uh, just that, Meow Hut Pinata Blue. But it's got these cute little ears on it, and I kind of want to see, I kind of want to see what, if there's anything else to see about the front of it. So let's take a look. I love this, by the way, and we have a whole collection of, like, cactuses and uh, southwest themed stuff from when we've done that before. You know, I think when we did that when, uh, maybe it was when Red Dead Redemption was coming out, and I was excited about it. Oh, he's got a whole face. He's like a llama or something. I would think uh, with these ears are not a, or uh, alpaca. Uh, what's the other animal? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, he is super cute with a nice cute blue mat, and uh, wow, he stands up really well too. I wonder if we should put this out for them, and then um, well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, this room's pretty crowded, so all that kind of putting stuff out for them is probably going to happen when they move downstairs, which, like I said, could be this week. Uh, fingers crossed. They've learned their litter box lessons. Uh, that's super cute, though. Creole Moss, thank you. That's I love that. The colors are great. It's perfect to go with the collection of southwest themed stuff we have. And I really, Does it ring thimble? Uh, you can. I think she's just, I think she's calm down, though. I don't hear her meowing. Why don't we give her... Oh. You know what? No, I'm going to have to take all this stuff out. Why don't we just wait until after mailbag? Because then I don't have to move her again. Um... I was going to say, uh, I was thinking about taking uh, one of the, some of the theme stuff and sort of decorating some rooms for, uh, you know, this class. It's been, we had Christmas basically kind of got in the way of it. Before that, we had Halloween kind of got in the way of that. But now I'm ready to do, uh, we've got a space room. We have a Southwest room. We have a uh, sort of a, I guess, rainbows and unicorns room because it's kind of that kind of like everything rainbowy and unicorn -y, whimsical room, let's say. And then we've also got one that's kind of the odds and ends where we've got like these crazy uh, mushrooms and tree stumps and uh, fox and sort of like woodland uh, theme, I guess is what I would call it. So we've got all this stuff collected. Plus, we also have, uh, I hope I said space theme, and then we've also got the old uh, like ocean water theme stuff. There's nothing in there that's particularly pressing as far as I know. But those other things all have brand new stuff that's never even been seen on the stream. Uh, so I feel like it would be fun to get some of those out and maybe DJ can, can pick one for the tubs if, uh, if we don't just go uh, southwest on account of that because it's so cute. We'll see. Anyway, let's take a look at this. We'll put this off and it's, it's now it's the only thing within my arm's reach still. So this is from Joy F. Uh, uh, and we've got, I, I hope you've seen, I took pictures too. I posted the pictures of every side on our Discord. So hopefully you've had a chance to see that, but I'll just turn them all past the camera for a second. And then, there we go. And then we can open this up and see what we got. Such cute little drawings on each side of this. I love it. I love, 
<laughs> the Ari kissing booth thing. It's like, they're all so cute though. Oh, look at that. We got a knife guard. Perfect. Perfect. This Joy F knows what she's doing. And we got a big uh, note for KA faculty and tiny tubs. Happy chomping. Oh, it must be a 3D card. Well, these kids had a 3D card that they chomped into already uh, last time, didn't they? So they could do another. Let's see if there's anything on it, what it is. That's yeah, so cute. Two kittens and they're just little spots. Two kittens. Oh, in there? Well, there's plenty of ways. You can move the camera. We can address it some one way or another. That's cute that they're using it, though. Did they put themselves in there or did you? Um, oh, look how cute that is. Sure you think that's what it's going to look like when it pops up? It is super cute. Let's see. Oh, it's more than that. It is Happy Valentine's Day, and it's a whole Beautiful. bunch of cats. Yeah. Oh, wow. They're, oh, 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 no. Some of them are not quite. Some some of them came pre-disassembled for the, for the cats to make their job easier. Let's see. Let's just stand them up here as well as we can. There's little Siamese cats, and there's one uh, rolling around with little... Um, oh, I see. And if you pull on it, the jumping cats jump and the heads turn, but yeah. some of them uh, some of them aren't responding the way they probably should, but that's okay. Oh, the tail wags. I see that. The jumping cat jumps, the tail wags, and that head moves. How cool is that? It's animated. I hope you can see. Uh, there's a lot of little armature going on behind the scenes here. Very cool. Okay. Logie, you going to come in here, buddy? Come on. Logan Berry? Logan Berry, come here. Come here, pal. Come on. We won't tell anybody. Just don't use the litter box. Come on. Logan. Logan Bean. Oh. <laughs> Maggie's like, I'll come in. Get out of my way. Logan, get out of the way. All right. Let's see what the note Ooh, says. There's a tiny bee right now. Hey, where's the tiny bee? Oh, hi. Let's settle down. Hi. I think she here. wants to be hammock yet, too. I mean, she might want to, but I'm going to make her a lap kitty for a moment. Let's just okay. sit right here while we read this note together. Hope, all, oh, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, hope all is well and that you had a fantastic Christmas and New Year holiday. By you, Abby, Lila, and Kara Bean have been working hard, be cute, getting spoogles, and scattering their toys around the house. They wanted to share their rewards, so they sent a few things for the tiny tubs and the As You See Fit supply. Plushies for the babies, and there are feather wands and individual gift bags for Thimble and her tiny tubs. How sweet. Everything else can be deployed or used as you see fit. The attachment for the pet cronies is, uh, is something 100% safe and is non-toxic. Uh, hopefully that will make uh, it easier to read as we as we dig through the box here. Okay, the water fountain is as you see fit, but maybe it would be useful for Thimble. There is a set of wands that have a variety of attachments. Logan, you know he likes the wormy ones. Please let him have some. Thank you for all the time. For I'm sorry for all the love and care you give to the kittens and mom cats and faculty. Take care, Joy F and crew. All right, Joy F. Thank you so much for everything in advance. And let's take a look together and see if we have deploy or as you see fit. Okay. And I can see this is definitely part of our ocean theme because I see we've got this crinkly little octopus thing. Oh, he's so cute. And he's got a jingle bell. Uh, he's adorable. And we've also got some fish in here. And I'm assuming it fit. Oh, he's shiny. Wow. Uh, we've got some sushi, which also fits the theme, I guess. It's a very happy sushi. The rice is happy. The fish is, uh, I guess it's actually egg. It looks like an egg to me. So that's fine. Uh, let's see here. We've got some tacos that may be fish tacos, maybe not. Who knows? Cola and tacos. Look at that. Zip ties. Uh, if you go in my office in the closet, you will find them in the wheelie cart, I think, in a box. So uh, here we go. Tacos with cola. That's cute. There's a place that uh, we would eat back in. Oh, there's a cherry tied to the end of the cola. Uh, maybe that's just on accident, but it makes it a cherry cola. Anyway, there's a place that we would eat uh, that made these awesome burritos in Illinois uh, where they actually, they're they are like advertised, they're, 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 uh, hitch the the catch the you know the thing that makes them unique I guess is that they make them with Coca Cola in the the marinade for their chicken 
That was pretty good, I guess. It was pretty all right. Makes me think of that. Uh, cola and tacos. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. And then we have these big, oh, these are like the, the same kind of foam balls that we have, but bigger, much bigger, actually. A little bit bigger than a regulation golf ball. And we have red, green, blue. All right. I'm trying to do all this with one hand now because I have a kitten that I wisely placed into my other hand. That was smart. Thinking ahead there. I am not a smart man. Uh, okay, this is just not going to work. I'm going to just pile this stuff up as we keep going. So this is more deploy where as you see fit. Maybe we don't take these ones out. We have giant cotton swabs. My goodness, they're huge. I've seen the smaller version of this. Uh, that's the bigger version. And then we have a whole bunch of, it looks like the same cherries. We have that same spring. Oh, the one that I just said was so fancy. We've got a few of those in here that are the, the mesh tube wrapped around a plastic spring. Did you, you found it, I think. It, okay. Oh, you're using the cheap ones. That's good because they're cheap. Uh, I see a real firm mouse in here, and I see some silver vine sticks with feathers on them. Oh, those are the ones that DJ likes that have the the silver vine and the sizzle and the feathers. That uh, I say yeah. DJ likes them. DJ has bought them, and all the cats like them. So those are great. Here we have a for mom cat or as you see fit. Well, this is perfect. Uh, we'll save this for the next mom cat. It's a for <laughs> Uh, catnip, yow catnip, uh, pineapple. So we'll have that for them. Maggie, you gonna want a zip tie? You want a zip tie, Meg? There's one right here for you. I know you want it. Notice the kittens because they inspect it. Oh, uh, all right. Here we have uh, we have um, uh, shiny, very very shiny paper. And this look little bunny, Mary Meyer bunny for cistern. I love that you put little labels on them. That makes it uh, much easier for them to get where they belong. And it's so oh, cute. Oh my goodness, I see. So each one of these is wrapped in its own piece of foil, which I guess we will try to maintain with them. Here we have one for Silo. It's a little dog. It's very cute. Here we have, oh, this is something else entirely. Yeah, you will you use this knife? Oh, we need uh, maybe something sharper for that. You'll do better with scissors, but I don't have anything like that here. Try the sharp knife. Okay. Um, so uh, I see these are the wands as you see fit. Variety of attachments. Yes, indeed. Uh, that's good. Oh, and this is, I can see at least one of these is the nice uh, fiberglass wand that we love to use around here. And yes, that's a big bundle of attachments for these. Thank you so much. Looks like there's a couple of other ones in there too, little ones. It's nice, uh, I sometimes we keep the little ones in a, in a, by our bedside and then when we bring the kids in for the spa, we've got some right there that's sort of at hand, very nice. Um, let's see, all right, here we have another set of uh, more wands. Oh, these are cute little wands too, with a, wow, a little feather boa on the end. Oh, and these are labeled for the kids. This one is for Thimble. I bet the faculty and everybody would like these too. Very whippy. I see one for barrel, one for thimble. Perfect. That can go with the endowments, which I'm going to try to pile up right here. Maybe we'll put them in your box. So this is endowment side. This is for use elsewhere side. This is Maggie side. Yes, Maggie, you make a better door than a window. Such a dad thing to say. All right, uh, barrel gets an owl. Look at that. Oh, it's very cute to want that right he wants the Mary Meyer owl. Uh, she doesn't actually. She was just going to sniff it. Okay. And uh, I feel like there should be one more of those, right? Uh, or did, I, did we do the one, two, three? I feel like there should be one more somewhere. Well, we'll find it. Hang on here. You can't set you on my coffee, but maybe I can set you in my lap and eat the coffee. Thanks for sliding these over here. That was helpful. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now I've got both hands free. We can really make this go. This is a bag that is labeled for silo. Oh, now that's cute. And it's stuffed full of things. I can see, um, first off, this is the sort of feathery toy that I was talking about. Maggie, excuse me, loves these too. And not only does it have silver vine in it, but it's also got a big old uh, silver vine nugget here. The, uh, I don't know, flowers or whatever they are uh, that are dried up. And yes, I know you want that, Maggie. You get plenty, there's plenty of those. There's one over here that we can give to you. In fact, you want one right now? Here, let's see if Maggie, uh, no, you don't have to take it yourself. I'll get it out for you, okay? 
Uh, let's see. Anyway, there's also the cadet. Oh, this is fun. This is a ping pong ball with a feather. No, with a fur tail on it, so you can throw it uh, really well. That's fun. Wow. Uh, there's also a whole bag of toys. There's some fun little knit things in here, like this little tiny doggy. <laughs> That's they're super cute. There's a nice felted ball in here. One of those giant Q-tips. So kind of the same stuff that we saw um, repeated, which is good. Everybody gets some. That's so sweet of you. Okay, let's get Maggie one of these before she goes nuts trying to sniff and eat everything. Maybe we leave one out in here too for these kids. They don't have one yet. Maggie, here. Maggie, do you want this now? you want it now? What if I throw it in the hallway? Will you go get it? Pay attention. Oh, you got your mouth wide. What do you smell over there? Did somebody pee over there? All right, Maggie, you need to watch this go. You ready? There it goes. Oops, no, I didn't get the hallway though. All right, I'm going to leave one over here too for to find later. All right, now where were we? We got a bag for, uh, this is Silo's bag, right? Yes, Silo. I do hear their mom yelling, you know, but that's fine. It won't be much longer. Won't be much longer now. Here we have a bag that is for Thimble, and it comes with most of the same kind of stuff. Uh, I do see. This one, the go cat thing, is a uh, just a piece of fur with a feather stuck to it. Oh, that's a good thing too. That was one of Kahoot's favorite things. Not this specific brand, but that idea. Um, and I see that uh, she's got a real fur mouse in here, and the Yao catnip pineapple, which she is familiar with. Also, a bag of toys. Inside the bag of toys, it just we need to go deeper. Uh, lots and lots of toys here. Okay, so that's Thimble's bag. Then we have a bag that is for Cistern that is sort of like Silo's bag, so we probably don't need to go into detail there. Maggie, you don't need to open those bags either. Oh, baggy. Baggy boo. Okay, and then one more, of course, one more. This one was the one for Barrel, and it's also very similar. So uh, that's super cute. That's wonderful. It doesn't sound nice of you to do all that and make it look so good for the kids. Wonderful. Here we have Deploy, or as you see fit, this is a Pet Cronies, I see, funny cat toy is what it says. And it also says it is a cat friend, comma, pet companion. Well, I don't know what any of that means, but it does say it is a, oh, I see. It is a cat, it's, a, it's like a weevil wobble, but it's got some kind of a motor in it so that it weevils and wobbles on its own as well, perhaps? Oh, and it's got eyes you can put on it if you want a variety of eyes. That's so cute. It looks like a, like an eggplant volcano. I'm going to go with that. Oh, and it's got rubber. Look at that. It's got the uh, fun tubes. So I do see how it works now. It is a weevil wobble. And then at the top, there is a, um, a motor that spins around like our, like our butterfly toys do. And then and you can put a variety of attachments on it. And two of the attachments, actually, I guess the only attachments did provide are uh, rubber. Um, noodle stick. So it's basically a noodle stick that noodle sticks itself, a self-playing noodle stick. Look at that. When you turn it on, let's see, does it have any juice right now? Oh, it does. There you go. Wow. Oh, wow. That's not going to stay standing up very well, though. No, not at all. Not even a little bit. It's not nearly heavy enough for that size of that piece of rubber, which is huge and sticks to things, as you can see. All right. Well, I don't know about the planning for this, but I'm sure it'll still get Kitty's attention, even if it's not standing up. And as I mentioned, they sent some eye stickers so you can give it various appearances, whichever mood uh, or eyes suit you. That is very cute. Oh, there's also a rubber band here that may have some functionality as far as getting it to continue to stand somewhere. And it's got a USB charger. It is uh, it's very cute. I always love new uh, toys to try on these kids. And I love that they're using a little rubber noodle stick on there. Of course, you'll only want to use that supervised. But... That is the case, factually speaking, for almost all cat toys. Um, just, you know, some things like little jingle balls and stuff, that's fine to use and let them play with on their own. But most things, especially any things with strings or parts that can be bitten, uh, you want to keep an eye on it. So this noodle stick uh, thing for sure. But wow, that is cute. And I bet they're going to have fun with it. And I will have to figure out uh, how I can get it to maybe stay in one place. And if not, I'm sure they'll have fun with it just shaking around on the floor anyway. Okay, one more thing, like you said, a cat water fountain to keep your pet healthy with fresh water. Now that's good advice. 
Uh, as you see fit, or give the thimble? Question mark. Well, I will definitely put this in Thimble's endowments. She has a uh, fountain in the room here, and I never have seen her using it, but she must use it because she, we definitely know that she doesn't like that water dish. Um, but uh, she does drink plenty, I can tell, from her litter box use and the fact that she's not dehydrated. So she must be a fountain drinker just by a process of elimination. So this will be great for her in her endowments, and uh, we can let her continue to use the one that she's got, of course, in the meantime. So that's perfect and wonderful. Thank you. I'm going to put all of the endowment stuff here back into your wonderful box with all the beautiful drawings on it. And oh, let's see, just put that right in there. And then the rest of it, we can move to a, uh, oh, here's an instruction manual for that thing. Let's just see if it says real quick. Uh, it calls that top white part a silicone, silicone tire. Well, I guess why not? Uh, it doesn't mention the rubber band at all in the manual. So who knows? Uh, I certainly don't know. Oh, I see. According to this, it's to be used handheld. It's like uh, the pictures show it being handheld. And uh, it's just like a noodle stick for someone who's too lazy to, to wag the noodle stick around on their own. Uh, it just does it for you. That's interesting. Frequently asked questions. One, what if my cat is afraid of it? <laughs> uh, okay, that's cute. Um, All right, I guess if I'm reading the instructions, it says uh, use it with your hand to get them used to it, and then uh, you can just set it somewhere in theory. So, oh, can I leave it on while I'm out of the house? Yes, it runs for 10 minutes and it turns off automatically. Okay. You didn't make it worse. Well, <laughs> I don't think you made it worse. The spots on the space on the camera. Oh, well, if it's wet, they'll dry up, and if it's not, you can we can keep trying. Uh, anyway, I, where'd that go? Okay, oh, this is going to be fun to play with, and I love the, the rubbery, noodly thing. I bet it's going to be a big hit, even if it doesn't stay in one spot. We'll find out. Okay, uh, just a couple more boxes, and I think we already know, what's if you can guess ahead, what's in these two boxes. So those will probably go super quickly. But let's, uh, let's get there. Let's find out. So on the outside, this one says Tiny Tubs and Thimble. All right. And on the inside, hopefully, there. oh, there, hopefully there's a note, but I think we know what this is. This is the long-tailed mice, just like this. There we go. It's a ba box of those. And they do like that. It's one of ba Beryl's favorite toys right now that she drags around with her everywhere. The mice have bells in them for the tiny tubs from Joe and her cat Haffers. Cat Haffers. Yeah, I think I said it right that time, didn't I? Uh, oh, did I ever finish... Yeah, I did finish reading uh, Joy F's note. I'm going to put it in the box now, so I see it again when I when I set up the, the endowments. That's always fun for me. Okay, uh, so halfers, um, thank you so much. They do love these. These will be great for their endowments as well. In fact, I'm just going to put them right over here, and we'll put your note also in there so I see that. There we go. They will absolutely love those. I know Beryl will for sure, because it's already Beryl's, one of Beryl's favorite toys. Uh, Joe and ha Haffers, thank you. All right. Hey, Maggie, what are you doing here? You got closed in. Oh, no. And that's the, one of Beryl's other favorite toys that you're this sitting on. Wet. Wet? Yeah. Oh, oh, did Maggie play with it? That's yeah. not the one for her. The one for her is over there, isn't it? Is no, that one over there? Okay, good. She can take it with her then. Yes, like, she loves it. I put out one for her. Yeah, I know she does. That's why she got one. She just likes that nugget part, really, I think. But yeah. it's, it's fun as a whole. <laughs> All right. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Well, let's see what the notes say. Thimble doesn't like her water dish, and I don't see her drinking from the fountain, so I found this one. Maybe she will drink from it. It has a bigger spigot, and maybe it will help. From Joe and Halfers. Oh, well, Joe and Halfers, thank you for thinking of that. Wow, this is cool. This is very pretty. It's uh, transparent too. I like that. So you can see the water and it is clean all the time. Or uh, so if it's not clean, you feel really guilty about it. It's got a little filter in it. Um, and it's got a long like spout that comes up and pours the water out. Interesting. It also has a bad Photoshop job. Oh, no, no, I can see. Okay, no, I see how it works. That's good. Uh, that's probably an actual photo then. So transparent design, ultra quiet, transparent design, simplicity, water container, low voltage, triple purification filter. 
Perfect. Well, that does look like it's really good for her. I think she does like the fountain she's got here, but maybe we'll have to figure it out because I, I trust me when I say I know she drinks a lot. Uh, you can tell. Okay, if you're emptying the litter boxes, uh, you would be clear on that. I just I don't know where it's coming from then. Uh, okay, you also say some cute little fishes for the tiny tubs, and they are cute little fishes. There's a blue and green and a whole bunch of them in here. And I bet they'll like them. In fact, why don't I take one out now and we can put the others over by the endowments. And I bet they'll like that. Let's see. How about the lavender? I like Maggie, the uh, Maggie, you shouldn't do that. Maggie. Well, too late. I guess we'll just have to empty it out and hope for the best. Of course, she just, she's in there and I, I never took the litter box out from Cahoots and she went in there and pooped. Yeah, Very smelly. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's keep rolling with that. Thank you so much, by the way. This fountain is great. I don't know if we'll get a chance to try it on her. Maybe we will, but otherwise, uh, it'll make an excellent endowment. And then she'll have some options in her new place. She really doesn't like the water bowls, and I don't know why. We've tried three or four different ones, and she has the same reaction to all of them. Yeah, yeah. She eyes them. She looks at them really suspiciously, and she hits them, and she drags them around the room, and she splashes all the water out. Uh, but she doesn't seem to ever drink from them. Um, so I assume it's the fountain that she drinks from. There's a little thing in the corner that's supposed to help hold this open. Um, there we go. Maggie? Maggie. Mm -hmm. Okay, now for these, and if you haven't already guessed what these are, I bet uh, you can. It's uh, It's got to be more stuff from Tahini and Flair. And... Indeed. I think I'm on the right track here. Lots of packing material from Tahini and Flair. And of course, hi Tiny Tips. We hope you enjoy some of our favorite toys. Love Tahini and Flair. Indeed, all of that was for one tower. There it is, right there, one tower. Uh, but there's another one over there, and we can start consolidating these in a way that Amazon probably could have. Um, so I'm going to put this back in here and put it over there for just one second while we open what's got to be just one more tower all by itself. Let's see if that's not the case. Oh, Maggie, that's not bad what you did over there. Really? It's reaching me now, yeah. Ooh. Yes, indeed, it is a single ball tower. Good job, Amazon. All right. <clears throat> um, so this is this is great. They're gonna love these little ball tracks. They've got, they've got one. Do they have one of these in here? Do they have a tower in here? I don't think they do. No, they must. I must just not be seeing it, right? Well, one way or another, um, they will they be. Don't, yeah. Huh? They'll be exposed to these um, plenty before they go. Wow! It feels like they put new bumpers on the bottom of these. These feel a little bit more um, <clears throat> uh, thick than, than the other ones and sturdy. Yeah, maybe they changed the design. It's a tiny bit. It also looks like there was four balls in that one on accident. Hmm. Odd. Okay. Um, anyway, oh, I got to take a picture of this before I get up and start putting stuff away. But that was mailbag. And I want to say thank you very much to all of you. A special thank you to my lovely assistant DJ today. Uh, that was very nice to have her here for that. This face is just, she's so asleep. I don't know how I'm going to get up and put all this stuff away. But hey, Maggie, that was not for you. Don't, don't wet that one. Don't. Oh, no, now I broke things. Okay. Don't wet that one. Did you already wet it? Did you already get it all gross? Yes. You got it mildly gross. Oh. Okay, uh, All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see what she thinks of that. But I don't know why you had to start both of them, Maggie. So rude. You gotta be the kid who comes in and plays with everybody else's toys first before they even get to see them. That's fine. It's fine, Maggie. What do you know? You're a princess. Uh, so, uh, thanks again to everybody who sent everything. This is a wonderful set of stuff for these kittens. They are gonna love it. Uh, it's gonna be great for their endowments. Some of it's gonna be great for their deployments. And like I mentioned, uh, fingers crossed that they do well with what DJ's done over here in this cage, and they do well with the missing litter box over there, and they get to move downstairs this week. Uh, I would really like that. Uh, in fact, if, if there are no messes by tomorrow, we might even get to start, well, we'll, we'll get the room set up probably, uh, and then they'll move sometime during the week. Uh, having them move by tomorrow seems unrealistic, but uh, we will, we'll be pretty busy getting all that stuff put together, I think, so. Uh, all right. Now I'm going to use these boxes.
And we're going to get all this stuff out of here. See how much of this I can do without getting up and disturbing this cute little kitten I got in my lap. This can be the as you see fit box. But this I'm going to put right into the second annex that's ready when the new mom comes in. This is yours, right? No, this is the one I just confiscated. All right. Give me the time. I will as soon as I'm ready to stand up. Okay. Maggie, there's yours. Yours is over there. It's right there. You can still play with it. You can still play with it. Oh, what's up there? Uh oh. Yeah. Wow. What a trouble magger. Trouble magger. Of course she is. Oh, is that a lot of noise, sissy? All right, do you want to go be a lap sissy for DJ? Hi, sissy. Oh, so sweet. Oh, such a tired little sissy. Look at that sleepy sissy. Oh, such a sleepy mm. sissy. She's just going to fall asleep just like that. That is some trust right there. That's a little kitty who's just never known any trouble in her whole life. Meow, meow. Thank you. Let's see if we can get up carefully and hand her over to DJ without waking her up too much. Good question, Maggie. Why? I got you, sweet. I got you. Let's see if we can get DJ, okay? Oh, you two look just the same. You're like twinsies. I'm going to take a picture of you being twinsies. <laughs> That's extra twinsies. That is just super cute. All right, thank you for that. I'll have to share all those pictures on Discord in a few minutes. All right. Well, I'm gonna start getting this stuff put away. We've got all a bunch of napping kittens. They just got all mail bagged out, I guess. Let's see here. This is why we didn't bring mom back yet, so I can just open this door and start moving stuff out. Uh, I don't want you guys to think I forgot about that wonderful little Japanese tub that came for these kids in last week's mailbag. It's next door. It's been sort of uh, airing out. And we're going to bring it to them again. It's just, we're just waiting for some confirmation for good on the litter boxes. Uh, let's see. These need to go with the endowments. These probably need to go with the endowments too, I think. So that's here. And that for the one for tank and this thing we can go in the as you fit box which is here. This is here. Southwest team, whenever that gets deployed. Unless I hear otherwise, of course, you let me know. Wait, no, this is part of the Southwest team. I was going to, I'm saying that, but that this was sent for symbol, wasn't it? For Thimble, yes, from Creole Moss. Okay, so that's for Thimble, regardless of whether we manage to use the toy or not. So put it back in the bag and label it. 
It's very cute. I love the colors on this thing and the fact that it's basically an alpaca. Mm -hmm. I've got a little alpaca face with a few ears on it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Southwesty. Where would I find my pen? Oh. Meow. Meow. I hear you. I hear you. Look, we're coming, okay? We're coming. Okay, so these are also endowments, some of which are for thimbles. This can go right in here. general purpose in this smaller box. Oh, here's the cherries came off. That seems like something I can see Loganberry carrying around with them. Mm, those are cute. Very cute. You want me to toss them out in the hall? Yeah, okay. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm wearing the tag was supposed to be cool. What do cool kids do? Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess I wouldn't know. Those are really cute cherries. All right. All right. Label those boxes so I won't forget what's what. the one you're not supposed to play with. Oh, for crying out loud, did we just trade? Which one's wetter and grosser now? She really just wants that end with the, the nugget on it. Do we have a box of those somewhere? Maybe you should order yourself a new set. All right, I think this one's less gross than that. I'm gonna put it up here. Maggie, come here, you gotta go out. Go get your gross wet stuff in the hallway. Come on, there you go. No, that's, that's not it. Like, I'm not gonna go. Come on, man. Don't get gross wet the way out of here. You don't want to make it gross and wet. You don't need to make it all gross and wet. Mm. Slimed it. So. Call you slimy instead of Maggie. Doesn't make any sense, but that's fine. I don't care. Okay. 
you know, making too much noise, but at least now they're all sleeping when I'm running in and out instead of freaking out like they did first thing. Great how quickly they get accustomed to stuff. Why do do it? Anything else I should see to before we go? Bring mom back in, I mean. Get all the things in the surface and want to figure out. Uh-oh. I think that's Maggie now causing yeah. trouble at the door. She is. Did you empty whatever Maggie did over here? No. Let me empty this before we bring mom in, just in case. Wait, leave the tiny poop in there. Is, is, was that the tiny poop? That's huge. That was Beryl's tiny Wow, Beryl, good job. My goodness. Pooping like a big cat. Tiny poop. I think she just she just needed to make a point. <clears throat> okay. Well, now it'll be interesting to see if she finds them in the beanbag and approves. Um, because no oh, did you see the video last night of her grabbing them and, and dragging them down from various things? No. She they were up on top of this, and she climbed up on top of it and grabbed one of them and took him down to the ground. Her, I don't know which one it was. Wow. And then on the, the beanbag, when I'm starting to climb up the beanbag, she grabs them and puts them on the floor. So when, yesterday? Last night, yeah. Why? I don't know. But, you know, it reminds me of... Uh, Where did she want them? Who was it? Uh, it wasn't Belle. It was, uh, was it the one that brought her kids to the door, remember? Yeah. So it just reminded me of that. to bring them out? Yeah. But I'm sure it's a similar... More to tell them not to be... I don't know. Yeah, it seemed like she was just like, no, I don't go up there, or, or maybe they were meowing like they they do sometimes, and she was just trying to rescue them. I don't know because I didn't hear any sound with it. It was just a gif. Anyway, it'll be interesting to see what she does. She liked liked the hammock. Remember when she was pregnant? She got up there all the time. Yeah, it was really They're unusual. All different blankets now. Yeah, it's a different hammock, different blanket, different mom, different kittens. Uh, all right, hang on now. Mm -hmm. One more thing I wanted to do before I brought her back was just sweep up this mess next to the lid box. Are you ready for me to bring her in? I think so. Mm -hmm. We'll check. Everything seems like it's in order. Oh, we'll put this slanty toy down for her. Like maybe you'd want some kittens to nurse. I can you? Move. I can move. Hey, just like that. That's I it. Can move. 
Where are the kittens? You'll find them. Oh. Where's the food? Oh, look, look. Yeah, she doesn't particularly care about the faculty anymore, which is good. She's smart, super smart. Yeah, you think it's smart. Yeah, it's all that. Remember when you would hang out in there? Where are your other two tiny? But she loves to climb those things, so she'll she'll climb it soon enough anyway. Okay. Yeah. What are you trying to tell me? They're not in my pocket. If you walk over to that tree, you want me to make your food fresh? <clears throat> there you go. Come right where I tell you to go. What's in here? Oh, there they are. There they are. What are they doing in there? Okay. Well, then you know. Doesn't care. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's going to be up on top of this thing. I hope there's nothing up here she shouldn't have. Yeah, maybe she's a good idea. One of those really needs to be in here. Yeah. 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 The light warmer power. I think I'm just going to put that in the drawer. Oh, wait, she won't let me know. I'll leave it here. Now. This is good. This does. This is the thermostat. That's fine. We'll leave it for now. <clears throat> There's nothing there that's going to be dangerous for her to get into. Think a while. Yes, yes, squirrely girl. Think a while. What do you like? Do you like that? Oh, 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 oh. No, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why? So like that. That was random. I'm not even doing anything. Mm -hmm. Hi. I'm heavy. She is heavy. I'm gonna go, sweetie. Okay, you do that. That's good. That's a good choice. That's time to run around. So, yeah, no, she's she's definitely she knows all about this door. Oh, uh, thanks for mailbag, everybody. Bye. That's gonna end the archive. <laughs>